How Risky Is It, Really? Why Our Fears Don't Always Match the Facts, by David Ropiak is a thought-provoking exploration of the psychology behind risk perception and its impact on decision-making in the modern world. The book delves into the intricate relationship between our emotional responses to perceived risks and the actual data and statistics that should inform our choices. Ropiak's work is a compelling analysis of how our fears often deviate from the objective facts, leading to suboptimal decisions in various aspects of our lives. One of the central themes of the book is the concept of the perception gap. Ropiak argues that our fears are frequently influenced by emotional and cognitive biases, leading us to perceive risks that are not necessarily supported by the available evidence. He highlights the role of the media, human psychology, and societal factors in shaping our perceptions of risk. Ropiak adeptly illustrates this concept with numerous real-world examples, from the exaggerated fears of rare diseases to the disparities in how we perceive familiar versus unfamiliar risks. Ropiak provides a comprehensive analysis of the psychology of risk perception. He explains that our brains are wired to prioritize emotional responses over rational analysis when it comes to risk. As a result, we often fear things that are vivid, immediate, or catastrophic, even when the actual probabilities are extremely low. The book offers a deep understanding of how our evolutionary history has shaped these cognitive processes and why they are often at odds with the data-driven approach needed to make informed decisions. The author also delves into the role of the media in shaping our perceptions of risk. He argues that sensationalism, the 24-hour news cycle, and the availability heuristic, our tendency to rely on easily accessible information, can lead to distorted views of risk. Ropiak illustrates this with examples like the disproportionate fear of shark attacks compared to more common, but less sensational, risks like car accidents. This media-driven distortion of risk perception can have serious consequences, influencing public policy and individual behavior. Ropiak's book emphasizes the need for a balanced approach to risk assessment. He suggests that while emotions play a vital role in risk perception, they should be tempered by a rational analysis of available data. He introduces the concept of risk communication, advocating for clearer, more transparent, and balanced communication of risks by both experts and the media. This approach, he argues, can help bridge the perception gap and lead to more informed decision-making. Furthermore, Ropiak explores how societal factors, such as cultural norms and social networks, can influence our perception of risk. He explains how these external influences can lead to groupthink, echo chambers, and a reinforcement of exaggerated fears. By presenting case studies and research on topics like vaccine hesitancy and climate change denial, the author underscores the importance of understanding the social dynamics that contribute to distorted risk perceptions. The book also addresses the consequences of mismatched risk perceptions, both at the individual and societal levels. When people make decisions based on irrational fears rather than objective data, it can lead to unnecessary anxiety, poor health choices, and even misguided public policies. Ropiak provides a compelling argument for the importance of acknowledging and addressing this issue, emphasizing the need for greater public awareness and education. In conclusion, How Risky Is It, Really?, is a thought-provoking exploration of the complex relationship between risk perception and objective data. David Ropiak's book provides a compelling analysis of how our emotions, the media, and societal factors influence our perceptions of risk, often leading to a significant gap between our fears and the actual facts. This book is an important contribution to the field of risk communication and psychology, 
offering valuable insights into the ways we can make more informed decisions by bridging the perception gap. Ropiak's work serves as a call to action, urging individuals, experts, and the media to address this critical issue and work towards a more balanced and rational approach to risk assessment and decision-making in the modern world.